Hi there, my name is Rolf Ivma from the National Institute of Public Health and I'd like to tell you a bit about our current research into avian influenza. Avian influenza is a disease that constitutes a major economic and public health threat. It is therefore adamant that any outbreak be contained as quickly as possible. What makes it difficult is the fact that the virus manages to spread from infected to uninfected farms up to several miles away. And we don't know how. There are many theories, for example infectious particles clinging to trucks moving between farms, or wild birds acting as vectors. Another theory is that wind disperses infectious particles from one farm to the next. To test this last theory, we got a data on a large outbreak of avian influenza H7N7 in the Netherlands in 2003. We know for all of the farms where they are located, we know their date of calling and have estimates of their date of infection, and for most of the farms we have sequenced three genes of the virus. This, together with formula describing the spread and mutational process of the virus, allows us to estimate which farms infected which. We can then compare these estimated transmission events to the direction of the wind, and actually show that the direction of transmission is more often in the direction of the wind than, than can be explained by chance or farm geography alone. We estimate that at least one-fifth of all transmissions is somehow due to this wind-mediated mechanism of spread. This information could help us in controlling the disease. Think of filters stopping infectious particles from getting in or out, or a better estimation of risk using weather forecasts. A better control of this disease could save many lives. Thank you for listening to my poster.